All right. Well, I'm so happy to have my friend Linda Toma here with us today from Community Health Center. Correct. And Linda, I know because I know you. I know all about, I know not all about, but I know quite a bit about Community Health Center and what you do, but I want everybody to know. Awesome. So let's talk about the organization. Sure. Trisha, first of all, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate your time. Um, so the Community Health Center um, is a free clinic. We provide medical, dental, behavior health, um, vision care, dermatology, um, and more new things to come. Um, but it's all free. Uh, it's based off of income. Okay. Um, and most of our patients are uninsured. So, you know, 11,000 people in Butler County are uninsured. Wow. And they do not have health care. So um, we try to help fill that gap. Right. So I see the history. It started 13 years ago. Yeah, we're in our 14th year of service. Uh, by a wonderful woman. Yes. Jean Purvis. Jean Purvis, yes. She was an amazing lady, and um, we just lost her uh, two years ago. Okay. And, um, you know, if you, she was in her 80s when she created the clinic. Wow. I mean, she was a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. And just um, she felt that she uh, had learned of this model and she thought we could have that here in Butler we need that here in Butler okay so she did <laughs> where are you located we are um, the physical address is 103 Bonnie Drive Butler PA 16002 okay um, we're on the road to East Butler on the road to East Butler yes and when you say you serve people that are not insured or underinsured correct are we talking all ages we're talking mainly 19 to 64. Okay. Under 19, um, there's CHIP, so, you know, children do get yes. health care through the government. So, um, and then over 64, of course, there's Medicare. Okay. Now, we do end up serving some folks that have Medicare um, just because they end up falling through the gaps. Maybe they've only signed up for part of Medicare. And... Um, they can't get their prescriptions or they right. can't afford their prescriptions. Um, so we make exceptions all the time. We're our own entity. Um, so, and, and we're volunteers and we all have hearts. So, and we live and work in this community. Sure. So it's, it's important to us that, that people are healthy and taken care of. Right. And I see you're open Monday through Friday. Correct. And I know our, our guests can, our audience can see on your website, get all that kind of information. So we'll make sure they know how to find you. Yes, please. And do people need to make appointments? Do you accept walk-ins? What is that process? At this point, we do not accept walk-ins. We do have uh, an application process. So you, you can get our, go to our website, uh, apply right here um, in the top right-hand corner, butlerhealthclinic.org. Um, fill out the application, and once we receive that, uh, we'll give you a call and okay. get you scheduled. And I was reading, too, and you have one full-time employee, maybe about eight or so part-time employees. That's correct, yes. And then a ton of volunteers. Yes. Do you need more volunteers? Always. Um, what do the volunteers do? So we have a ton of different kinds of volunteers. We have doctors and dentists and nurses, but we also have clinical and or non-clinical, clerical, administrative, um, helping with fundraising events or maybe outreach events, um, whatever. We have a garden, so we, we grow our own garden, and all the produce that we get, we provide to our patients. Uh -huh. um, so if gardening's your thing, you can come volunteer. You'll find them we a will, job. We will find them a job. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and now I did see that most recently you offered some new services. We did. You offer now, and I know you mentioned it at the beginning, sure. but we'll just go into a little bit more detail. You now offer eye care. Correct. And Dr. Gonzalez and Dr. Higgins? Yes. Right? Yes. They are the providers for that. Correct. So you can actually come to your facility and have a full eye exam. Correct. Yes. Wow. So Dr. Higgins reached out to us last October um, and asked if we would have a need, and we said yes. Um, so we opened an eye clinic within our clinic, and he now sees patients for free. Um, and uh, we help them to get glasses uh, or whatever or it is they, they might need. need. Sure. Correct. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So it's a great service. And then you have a dermatologist. Yes. Dermatology program. Right. That's mobile. Yes. That's so, also connected what with the University of Pittsburgh. Correct. That's fantastic. And and UPMC. So they come um, like once a quarter. Okay. And um, see our patients for free, or if somebody in the community has an issue um, with you know with a skin issue, of course they would see them for free. Wow. In, in the clinic. Wonderful. So um, one of the um, interesting facts about that is um, Butler County has the highest rate of 
melanoma in the state. Really? So that's why Dr. James really, she reached out to us. And, you know, it's something that she wants to help. With. Wonderful. So, yeah, it's a great service that we can offer here in Butler. And then I saw something else, too, that caught my eye. And I know with we were talking earlier about all of the depression and anxiety that people have faced, especially with the, with the right. pandemic. Mm -hmm. And now you're addressing that as well. Right, right. So we do have behavioral health services. Um, we've, we've always had that, the medication-based. Right. Um, but we're also, we're starting a pilot program of counseling. Uh -huh. um, right now it's internal. Okay. So it's our patients that we've already been working with that we can offer counseling services to. Um, but we hope to grow that and expand it you know, as the need arises in the community. Right. And I would assume that the only way that you could actually provide all of these wonderful things that you do is through the contributions from our community. Yeah, we are 100% community funded. We don't receive any tax dollars, no state or federal funding. funding. Um, it's 100% community donations um, and, and supporters, Butler Health System, UPMC, Armstrong. Armstrong is a great support, supporter of the clinic. Um, Concordia Lutheran Services. Um, there's many, and then individual donors that really support the work that we do. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being on. And to close, I would tell all of our viewers that are watching to watch out for our wonderful event that you have coming up in November of 2022, Signature, Signature Sensations. Correct. You can find that information on their website and think about supporting Community Health Center that serves so many right here in Butler County. Thank you, Linda. Trisha, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.